you know who we are. We don't know who you are, because I don't know who the hell's watching right now. But, it's grind guys. Check Chris, in. Chris right here. Chris. Chris, Chris. right here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And what day is it today? Leg day. Wednesday. So I know you fuckers been waiting for this video. April 6th. Without further ado, watch this quick unboxing and here comes the video. Okay, so I got another unboxing for you all. Last time you saw me unbox this machine fuel, the um, MTS. BCAs. Now let me open it and make sure I didn't just and I did. Lost my scoop. But as I attempt to find it and put it back on top, I got another package to unbox today. Found it. I want to also make a side note that this 430 serving container, they could have easily sold this instead of for 30 bucks for 60 bucks. And let me explain why. Because they literally put which I'm gonna show you right now. They literally put a fifth of the container filled with actual BCAs. The rest is air, guys. From here to here is all nothing, as you just seen. The rest is only filled, so they could have easily doubled or tripled it even if they wanted to, but they didn't. Here I have another unboxing for you guys. Now I'm gonna tell you what it is because you're gonna see in just a second, and surprisingly, it doesn't say on the label anyway. I actually just got off a flight, just got back home. And this package is here. Okay. Nothing else in here. But a receipt. This is my tornado shaker. Because me, I'm a lazy guy. I go by the motto, work smarter, not harder. And if this will help me save some time and energy on making a shake, putting my scoops in, Put in my water. Shake, 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 shake. Oh look, still some gunk at the bottom. Shake, 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 shake. Still some gunk at the bottom. Shake, 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 shake. If this can prevent me from doing that, then why not go for it? So the top's open. A little skeptical. Uh -huh. Here it is, and I figured since we're doing an unboxing, and I got my BCAs right here, should figure I'd just show you guys the first reaction with the cup. And you, so here it is, the tornado shaker, excuse me. Unleash your tornado. That's what it says on the side. It has up to 16 ounces of water. It can be filled up in this thing. But it recommends, I believe, like, uh, like, like 14 or 12. So what you do is put your, open up the top here. And it's got one of those clamp tops, you see. And with the hooks on the side. So you just twist it once and it's good to go. You put your water in here or your protein in here first however you want to do it and down here on the bottom you'll see a little battery pack and you'll see a button on the side so you put it in there you press this button here it'll spin it around it'll shake it for you so without further ado because i don't believe this comes with its own batteries i'm gonna put some batteries in here and we'll go from there okay so this would be nice for you guys because i just had trouble doing it if you saw when I was just leaving this video, I couldn't open it up. All you do is press it. You press it and this latch pops open. The battery container right there. So, yeah, give me a second to get some batteries in here. Change of plans because I probably wasn't reading. Batteries weren't included, so I had to go to the store and grab some real quick. So now I'm going to show you how this thing works. Just put some batteries in it. That was about 12 ounces of water in there 
as you see, it mixed pretty well. It's a little frothy at the top. I'm gonna show you in a second. So now I'll do a quick quality test because didn't drink it. Once again, it was 14 ounces of water. It looks to have mixed pretty well. Just got a little bit on the cup, but quality test. So, so far I've had one scoop to the head, didn't like that too much. And then I put it in a water bottle, shook it up, didn't like that too much. I put it in a blender bottle, shook that up, didn't like that too much. So, tornado shaker. Automatically I can say I don't like the lip of the cup, because I don't know. This part right here to get over to the, I don't know, it was a little weird right there. I feel like I have to stretch my mouth out just to drink it. But as for quality, it tastes good. Like I said, it was a little frothy at the top, but as you know about BCAs is they're not supposed to mix perfectly. If they mix perfectly, something's wrong with the ingredients or something else is added. So quality tastes good, shake good, blend good. Man, that's cool. I'll go ahead and put the uh, link in the description box below for you guys. Tornado shaker. 20 bucks can't go wrong i liked it i thought it was pretty cool thought it was pretty convenient and pretty nice to look at it's cool to look at it's a nice product i would recommend it 20 bucks put the link right down here for you all right so we jumped off leg day with some uh hip abductor machines just to warm up and stretch then we went ahead into some squats we didn't film all of our squats. I filmed more of their squats than they did mine. So I don't I can't really tell you their numbers or what they did for their rep set scheme, but I'll tell you what I did. I warmed up with just a bar for 10 reps, then I did a plate for 10 reps, and then I did one or then I skipped right to 225 for 8 reps, I believe. And here we have 275. This is 275 for I think I did just five. I think I was keeping the rep set scheme between just five and uh, five to six. I didn't want to go too too many on these, so I didn't even just count that. You got the clip there if you want to count that. Here's Kevin doing 225. Short of parallel, but he's, he's learning. He's new to the legs, so, you know. He's new to training with us, newest to training with us, so one day he'll, he'll learn exactly how we get it in. Here's Chris doing some 225. And I think they, um, Kevin and Marvin, they kept it at 225 and kept repping out there. Me and Chris kept bumping up. So there's 225. Getting some nice depth there, as always, for Chris. He's working on the depth and on the form. Here he's about to bump up the weight. Here he's got, what is that, 245 on the bar. And once again, the depth is good. Grinding that out. <laughs> So that was a raw clip of me doing 335. I went up 315 after 275, and uh, then I got to 335. So they didn't film the 315, but there was Chris going for 275. And here we did some lunges, four sets, all the way back, uh, and then all the way to the end, all the way back to the other way. That's a set. And then he was super setting it with calves, as usual. Chris is always working on his calves, trying to perfect those. Make that small muscle a big muscle, if you know what I'm saying. So I thought I'd start speeding up these clips too, because I noticed these videos are getting longer and longer, it seems. Maybe I should take out the unboxings and make them their own thing. You guys let me know what you think. And uh, also, comment below any leg exercises you want to see. If you want to see any specific, I'll get a video of those next time for the next leg day. So we did this leg press, and we supersetted it with this alternate like leg press, hamstring press. Whatever you want to call it. It's more focused on the hamstrings for me, though. Uh, here's Chris doing, what is that, six plates. And I think he bumped all the way up to seven plates after this. But uh, 
Yeah, he's he's something else. I can't do it like that, but then we finished off with hamstrings. Out of a page from my man Chris Jones, what are you eating right here? Something appetizer, so it's a, you get to pick three out of all 10 appetizers. I got me some uh, little cheeseburgers. Okay, what's on these cheeseburgers? Just cheese? Uh, just cheese and the meat and uh, some bacon and onions. Um, yeah, I guess it was this would be like half a burger, I guess. Yeah. I got me some boneless honey chipotle uh, wings. Yep, some uh, some ranch sauce, some uh, blue cheese, and I got me these Southwestern egg rolls. Y'all motherfuckers gotta try these right here. They're awesome. Uh, you know I ain't gonna eat this shit. So. Uh, I got my water. Okay, nice. Got the root beer over here because I need a root beer whenever they have root beer. Got some garlic bread and some pasta, bro. Grilled chicken on there. I'm ready to go, man. It's looking delicious. Looking tasty. And one more thing. Gotta thank the man upstairs for this meal. Thank you.